I will try to make electricity using this potato and this solid block of ice. The accent being on try. Step 1. I need to boil the potato to get it nice and hot. And while that is cooking, let me show you what is supposed to make the magic happen. This is a Peltier cell, and it's one of the most unusual things I have in my parts collection. If you create a temperature difference between its two sides, it generates voltage. So basically, you need to put it between something hot and something cold. A hot potato and a block of ice were the first two things that came to my mind. So now the Peltier cell gets sandwiched between them. I have my multimeter to measure the voltage and an LED which will hopefully light up. As expected, we see the voltage rising, but not quite enough to power the LED. I think the ice block is too big and it's cooling the potato. You know what, let's skip the potato and use the pot of boiling water instead. Now that's more like it. The LED lights up and we're getting a couple of volts across it. So why have you never heard of Peltier cells before? Are they hiding this magical technology from us? No, they're just really, really inefficient. But there are some use cases for Peltier devices. You see, the process also works in reverse. If I put voltage across the cell, one side instantly cools down and the other gets hot. With the right setup, a Peltier cell can be used to keep a device under a constant temperature or you can make a cooling system with zero moving parts. Still, it will not be replacing your fridge anytime soon. I'm gonna go have lunch now and you can subscribe and follow for more videos.